Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review on the Click and Grow Indoor Gardens. Um, I've had these for about not six, nine months now. Um, and I keep getting a lot of questions about them, so I thought it was time to do a video. I first came across Click and Grow through an Instagram ad. Um, they immediately caught my attention. I think they make the prettiest indoor gardens I've ever seen. They are very kind of sleek, minimalist. Um, I have the white gardens, but they also come in like a, a muted beige and like a dark, dark gray. And I think they just came out with some new colors, like a navy and a pistachio green. So I really love the design element of them. I think they're very just sleek, even with the lights on. Um, I had some people over and out of all my gardens, I think I have maybe a little bit over 10 now, like the click and grows were the ones that they all liked the most just based on looks. Um, obviously looks aren't everything, but when you're growing things in your home, I do think it's part of the consideration, like you want it to look nice. Um, and I also think these are really intentionally designed. So everything from the packaging to setting them up, to just using them is very intuitive and very user-friendly. Smart Garden 27, which is a bundle of three of the Smart Garden 9s. So Click and Grow makes about five different types of gardens. The Smart Garden 9 is probably their like flagship product. It's the most popular. It has room for up to nine plants. Um, so this is it right here. And if you buy, if you already have an interest in indoor gardening and you know you're gonna like using them, then I do recommend the Smart Garden 27 because it's basically three of these Smart Garden 9s in a bundle. So you save a bit of money that way and basically the plant stand is kind of like free. I really liked the idea of having the plant stand so that they could stack vertically. Um, as you can tell, I have no more counter space left in my kitchen. My kitchen is very, very small. Just in general, like I live in a very small apartment so I'm always trying to have as little stuff as possible and maximize the stuff that I do have to use it very efficiently. Um, so I like growing vertically now. I actually am really interested in getting like a like a vertical kind of tower garden or some kind of indoor vertical garden um, because I feel like you can grow more that way and just get more production. The stand itself was very easy to put together. I hate putting furniture together. Um, I'm just not like a very handy person. So I was pleasantly surprised. It took me about 20 minutes. Um, I probably could have done it even faster, honestly. It's Everything goes together nicely. Like everything is labeled really nicely. The instructions are very clear. And you know, nowadays I feel like when you buy furniture or you buy just stuff on Amazon that you have to put together, like the screws and the holes don't line. Um, nothing is labeled. You know, the, the diagrams just have like images and it can be a very frustrating process, but with Click and Grow, everything was just really, really um, well thought out and very easy to follow. The aesthetic of it is kind of like a bleached wood and white clean, simple design element. Um, it's a very like Scandi style design. So obviously everyone has a different preference, um, but for me personally, I think the Click and Grows look the best. As for the gardens themselves, each Smart Garden 9 does come with um, plant pods so you can get started growing right away. They don't let you choose. So the Smart Garden 9 comes with three basil pods, three cherry tomatoes, and three green lettuces. I do think it would be a nice touch if they let you choose, but unfortunately they don't. So right now I'm growing green lettuce and some yellow peppers and some herbs in this one. And then this one I'm using their, I think it's called like the salad green kit. It's a mix of romaine, sorrel, and arugula. And so far I've been pretty happy with the growing process. It's a very straightforward growing process and it's kind of like a simplified method. So these Click and Grow Smart Gardens use a more passive method of hydroponics. It's called like a wick and flow method. And basically, so this is what each pod looks like. Um, this is a cotton wick. You just attach it. It's kind of like a thick, tightly rolled uh, piece of cotton. And basically you just stick it to the bottom of each 
pod cup. Um, the pod cups and the pod covers are reusable, so don't throw these out. You reuse them every planting. And then all you do is swap out the plant pod. This is what it looks like. Um, so like I said, this was the, I believe this was like a yellow pepper. Um, and the unique thing about the click and grow is that it's a closed system. So as you can see, like the plant is fully covered uh, by this little plastic cage. So the plants do grow smaller than they would in a system where the roots can freely grow into the tank. Um, so I would recommend click and grow primarily for growing herbs, leafy greens, lettuces, salad mixes, things like that. I think it's really, really well designed for that um, because generally lettuces only, they take about two months to reach full size and then um, at about two and a half, three months in, they start to flower and they're, they're, they turn bitter, they're no longer edible. So the life cycle of a leafy green is about two, two and a half months. So this is a perfect system for that. For something like this bell pepper, I will eventually transplant it out just so that I can get a little bigger. Basically the size of a container that a plant is in is the limiting factor for how big that plant can get. So once a fruiting vegetable um, reaches the max capacity, then you do wanna transplant it out. I really like how clean the system is. Like there's no need, there's no staining of the grow bowl. There's no need to like cut the roots, trim the roots. Um, there's no need to add nutrition. That's a big difference with this system versus other gardens. So in the smart soil pods, there's something called nutrition beads. These are not soil, by the way. They are um, a hydroponic growing medium. They're kind of, I believe they're made from coconut core, but they're basically Click and Grow's pr proprietary blend um, of smart technology. And they're optimized to provide nutrition for each plant. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of skeptical when I heard that, um, but I ran a little experiment and I actually do feel like they're very innovative, smart technology. So I'll talk about that. With the air gardens, I'm used to adding my own nutrition and definitely like the nutrition equation of growing plants can be tricky. Some plants are very straightforward. Some are a little bit more finicky, especially if you're trying to grow beans, any kind of larger fruiting vegetable, the nutrition can be tricky. So what I like with the click and grows is that the, the nutrition equation is already taken care of for you. It has these little red and yellow beads in each smart soil pod and they um, slowly feed the plant nutrition over the life cycle of the plant. So once the plant is done, then you dump it out. You can't reuse the smart soil pods and you'll stick in a new pod. Um, I did a little experiment. I wanted to see if the smart soil pods were really that effective. So when you get each um, pod and you plant it, they usually add at least three to five seeds in there because they want to ensure that you'll get a seedling. Um, they want to help you along with the germination. So what I did was usually you would thin out the extra seedlings. I gently took out each extra seedling and I put it into my, I kept one garden empty and I transferred the extra seedlings into the third garden. I filmed a little TikTok video on it. I'll insert it so you can see. Um, but basically what you would do in that sense is you save all the seedlings. So you're not wasting any plants. And then I didn't have extra pods. So I used clay pebbles, um, which is a very popular hydroponic growing medium. I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. And basically you can use clay pebbles to hold the plant in place. And then I used pro cups, uh, which are a different type of cup. So the regular click and grow pods do not have, they're fully enclosed. They don't have any way for the roots to grow into the reservoir. Uh, but if you get the pro cups, then they have slits and little openings and the roots can grow uh, as you know, large and freely as they want. And I ran a little experiment and surprisingly the click and grow plants did better than the ones in the clay pebbles. They're just a little bit farther along. Um, it's mainly the arugula and sorrel, which I have going right here. So yeah, it seems like their smart soil tech really is innovative. Um, I was actually quite surprised by that. I was expecting these to do just as well, if not better. 
um, because I'm controlling the nutrition. I, I do think part of the issue is because it's a wick system. I think the wick makes it a little bit difficult for the plants to fully draw up the nutrition. Um, so I think that's possibly why. So the lights are fixed on the Quick and Grow. They come with two height extenders. So I started out on the lowest setting, just like this right here. And then once the plants grow tall enough to touch the light, then I add the height extension bars. For some reason, they recommend adding the extension bars right away, um, even in the starting seedling phase, which I'm not sure why they recommend that, um, but that's not what I did. I waited until they grew tall enough and then I added the extensions. They also have a really great selection of plants. Um, they have like over 55 different plant options, lots of really unique uh, herbs and greens. Um, they also have like strawberries, peas, I'm not, I'm not so sure how well those would like larger fruiting plants would do in these, but they do offer the option. So like I said, I'm growing green lettuce in these. They're doing, they're not doing so great right now because my apartment's really hot and I think they're suffering in the heat. Um, it's winter, but my apartment's like 85 degrees. Um, so they are getting a little limp and sad, but a week ago they were looking great. Um, I'm actually experimenting right now with what I can grow in a warmer environment. So I have, I have bok choy and romaines and other like variations of bok choy in the back and those seem to be doing well. Um, so if you have any recommendations for like heat tolerant greens, let me know. Uh, the sorrel and the arugula is also doing well. It just seems like any kind of softer green lettuce can't survive in the heat. So each plant pot also has little tabs. You can write on it in probably like some kind of dry erase marker to know what, you know, what you're planting. Um, I think that's nice because it's built into the pod and it's reusable. You don't need to buy stickers. You don't need um, to buy new plastic cages. Like it's overall a more reusable method than say Aero Garden. I can also do a full comparison to like Click and Grow versus Aero Garden if that's of interest. And the water indicator is this little bobble right here. And again, it's a more simplistic method. Um, basically, as you fill up the water basin, the little floaty thing will float. And when it's sticking up above or even, then you know there's enough water. And when it's dipped, sunk it all the way down, then you know you need to refill. Um, I kind of like that. It's a very easy visual reminder. Um, sometimes, like with this, it's a little bit hard to see with the screen sometimes. Uh, the air gardens have like a light indicator when the water's low. so. They're all different, um, but I kind of appreciate this one. And actually I've had some people over and out of all the gardens at my place, I have a couple different brands now and a couple different gardens. The Click and Grows are the ones that always um, get people commenting. Like they, everyone always likes the Click and Grow ones the best. Um, and overall, these are very low maintenance, which I really like. If you're just starting out and you're new to gardening or if you have a lot of gardens and you don't want to add too much work to your plate, but you still want you know, leafy greens, then I think these are a great, great system. I'm really happy with them. I have to admit, I was pretty skeptical about them. I, I got them mostly because I thought they looked nice and I was curious and I wanted to compare them to my other garden systems, but I've been very pleasantly surprised by how well they do. They're basically set it and forget it. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like an espresso pod machine. Um, you just pop in the pod and then you wait two months and you've got full grown lettuce. Um, so yeah, it's quite, it's quite straightforward, which I think is great, especially if you have tried to keep plants alive before and you've had issues. These are basically foolproof. Oh, and you can also use your own seeds with these. I do think it's easiest to just buy their pods. Their pods are a little expensive, but because of that smart soil technology and the nutrition beads, I think their pods are worth buying. Um, if you use your own seeds, you have to buy their like grow anything pods, which are the same price as buying the pods with the seeds. So I would, if you want to grow your own stuff, I would not really recommend the Click and Grow system. Get a different system, um, but if you are happy with their plant selection, then just 
God. Um, but I will say they do have a really, really robust plant selection. I think they have like over 50 options to choose from. Um, the, by far the best selection of plants, of, of pod plants um, from any of the indoor garden brands. So I have my eye on a couple, like I was pretty impressed with the herbs, especially thyme. I'm currently growing my own cilantro, like a dwarf lemon variety um, in my air gardens that they took forever to germinate, like, like literally three weeks, whereas this germinated right away. Um, this is thyme, but thyme is also slow growing. So I think I would definitely get their herbs again. Um, and I am curious about their strawberries as well. So that's on my list to try. Also, I like how everything snaps into place. Like that's what I mean by the design element. It fits, it all fits really nicely. Some, sometimes with the air garden pods, like they don't sit flush, they wobble a little bit. Um, everything here like snaps into place and just fits really well. Like it also snaps in that way. And yeah, overall I would say if you just don't wanna dedicate too much time to gardening, but you still wanna grow your own plants, these are non-GMO, they're pesticide free, they're fresh, like, you control every aspect of it um, without having to do very much work. So I think they're quite a nifty little gadget, a little invention. I will say they are a little pricey, especially if you look on the website when they're not doing a sale. I only recommend buying these on sale because they are very expensive. Um, and there's a huge difference between like the sale price and the regular retail price. Um, I also have a discount code that you can stack on top of the sale price when they do have a sale. So definitely wait for a sale. Okay, I think that's everything I have on the Click and Grow. If you have any specific questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.